Yo, what's up, Freeze Army? Welcome to the Vavara Mystification Escalation. This is all level 5 levels in one video. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. We're going to start as the waiter, bring along our mixtape uh, 47 or the audio distraction device, whichever one you have, and we're going to bring along our coin and our pistol. So once you're spawning as the waiter, we're going to need to go and take out the target at the school. So we're just going to run straight there and head down the route to the left to so go past the headmaster's house and through there. Now this waiter's disguise is not, uh, you're not trespassing while wearing this disguise in the school area. But there is a lot of enforcers around and you can get past these two guards here. Momentarily it will say trespassing in the uh, minimap, but you don't need to worry about being spotted as long as you just keep running. So we're just going to circle around the back here because we want to avoid these two guards because if they can see through this disguise. So once we get to this green box we're just going to crouch, run past them, and then head them through the window. And then we can take a left and go down to the other end of the uh, end of the corridor. Take the last door on the left, and then through the window here. So the target is just going to be outside here. So we're just going to go over to these green boxes, drop the mixtape 47 or audio distraction tra distraction device, which one of you have, activate it, and then immediately pick it up. We're going to wait behind this box here with our pistol. And then we're going to shoot the target in the head. And once you've done that, we're going to take his disguise and then exit the mission. Now the fastest way out would be the, using the truck, uh, which is just outside the front uh, door of the of the um, of the school. But because it's in um, a different location, because it's all the way upstairs, we're not going to bother with that at the moment. We're just going to head straight to the main entrance, and we're just going to exit that way. The only person you need to worry about is the uh, the military officer here. So just make sure you circle around and give him a wide berth. But from this point you're quite safe. You can just head straight to the exit and we're done for level 1. Now for level 4 and level 5, what I'm going to be doing for that is going to be showing you two different techniques for level 5. Because level 4 is exactly the same as level 5 if you're using my strategy. And, you'll, and I'll explain that a little bit further once we get to that area. And that's that's uh, part of the video. But for now, we're just going to make sure we nail this. Got the Silent Assassin rating here for level 1. Now we can move on to level 2. Now for level 2, we've got an additional target. And uh, this time, we're going to use the same items as we did in the previous level. And uh, start in the same location, all that kind of stuff. And once again, we're going to do what we did before. As soon as the level loads up, we're skipping the panning shot and heading exactly the same way as uh, the same route as we did before in the previous level. You might have noticed in these screenshots, you'll see something like uh, the messages on the top right corner of your screen. That was because I've basically recorded all these videos from the actual live stream I did earlier today. Because I did a live stream of doing this whole escalation and trying to figure it out and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, that's the reason why that is, that is on there. Just in case you're wondering. But yeah, we're just doing the same thing we did in the previous level. I don't want to keep repeating myself, uh, but we're going to just get past these two guards by crouch running past. I mean, the arc, you do get slightly suspicious of you, but it, that suspicion bar is really, really slow. So you don't really need to get worried about getting spotted. You can pretty much run past everybody and not have a problem dealing with it all. Alright, so we're just doing the same thing for this first target. Going over to these uh, green boxes, dropping the uh, audio distraction device or the mixtape 47 out of your inventory, activating it and immediately picking it back up. Then we're just going to wait behind these boxes here with the pistol and then we're going to shoot them in the head. You can take them out with the fireball wire if you want to or whatever way you want to. You can kill them in any way you want, but I think uh, the pistol is the best option because he falls forward and uh, it hides his body. So we're just going to slap on his disguise there and then we can head up to the next floor. So follow the route I'm going and you should have no problem. Now Zaydan's coming down the stairs so we're just going to wait for him to go past. He is an enforcer so we're just going to be a little bit patient here and wait for him to go past as I do some squats here. And once you've done that uh, we're just going to head up the stairs right here. The target is going to be a general that's just up the stairs in this room. Watch out as you come through the door, um, you might be a little bit suspicious there, so you need to watch out for his direction. Grab the army truck key from the table there, and then head behind these boxes just at the back of the room. 
I'm just going to drop that on the floor for now. Now, what's the what's going to happen is this guard that's just that's nearest to us here. You can see him in front of us. He's going to be um, he's going to we're going to have to wait for him to turn around because the general is going to come over to where that computer is in front of us, and uh, we're going to wait for the other guards to turn around and move away before we activate the mixtape. There's also guards out there in the uh, the corridor outside. So again, we need to wait for them to move out of the way before we activate this device. It sounds complicated, but trust me, it's not. Just wait for this guard in front of us to move out of the way now, and then we can activate it as soon as he gets past the general. Again, activate it, pick it back up. He's going to come over to the, where we are right now. We're going to crouch as we walk around these boxes, and then subdue him once he's behind. Hold his, hide his body firmly behind the boxes. Grab his disguise, because you need to take him out with his disguise on, and then snap his neck. Once you've done that, you can uh, exit the level, and you're completely done for level 2. We're going to take the truck this time, because we grabbed the truck keys. So the, the, the truck keys I was actually mentioning in the previous level, that's where the truck keys are. So make your way there, it's any way you want to. And then we're done for level 2. That takes care of the Silent Assassin rating for level 2, nice and easy. Easy peasy, job done. Now for level three, what the, what they've actually done? They finally, um, well, I wouldn't say finally, but uh, regrettably, in my opinion, they shouldn't have. They've added trip mines to level three, and they've added trip mines to this whole escalation, and it's it's kind of annoying, but so we just have to deal with it. But again, we're using the same items and starting in the same location. But you need to make sure you follow my uh, my exact route for this particular level, uh, otherwise you will get blown up uh, by all these trip mines that's all around the um, all around the school area, which is really unfortunate, I mean, if you're looking for the mine disarm device, it's, Zaydan has it on him, so you can knock him out and take that mine disarm device if you don't want to follow this route I'm taking, but as long as you follow the route I'm taking anyway, you'll have no problems taking out this, uh, taking care of level 3. So we're going to make our way around the left this time, uh, because it does avoid a couple of mines on the way. So make sure you follow the route I'm taking, and you'll have no problems. So the rules are still the same, you've still got to take out the same two targets, but uh, the route uh, to where we're getting them is a little bit different. But you see there's a mine right in front of us there, that's where we have to come outside and circle around. Take the same route, you'll have no problem. So we're going to do the same thing we did before, drop the mixtape. Activate it, pick it back up, and then wait behind these boxes here. So I almost forgot to pick it up there. So again, we're going to do the same thing, just shoot him in the back of the head. Take his disguise, because it'll make it a lot bit easier. We still need to kill the general in the same in the same disguise, so... We're going to have to do the same thing as we did before, but just follow my path, and you will avoid all the mines cut across the courtyard here, we're just going to wait for this guard in front of us to move to the right because he is an enforcer, so if we go past now he will spot us. So we're actually going to go into the, te the telecoms area and we're going to, you know, climb up through the hole into the bathroom above us and that's how we're going to make our, round, uh, our way around to where the target is. It's kind of annoying that all these mines are around, but I think it's, um, it's easier and you know, more convenient to actually just follow what I'm doing rather than go me going around, messed around to try and get the t disarm device off Zaydan. So I think it's a lot easier just doing it this way. So once you've climbed up through that hole there, we're just going to climb out this window and head into the room to the left through this window here. This is where your target's going to be, uh, so we're going to do the same thing as we did before in the previous level. Grab the army truck key that's just on that table. If you didn't make it, just make sure you just back off. Don't worry about it, just wait for him uh, to get the disguise first, if you are worried about that. So again, we're just going to wait for that guard to move it away. And as soon as he moves past our target, we can activate the disarm, disarm device, not the disarm device, the mixtape. Once you've activated it, make sure you pick it up straight away. Crouch around the boxes, just the same as we did in the previous level, and subdue him. Take his disguise, and then snap his neck. Also, make sure his body is well hidden behind the box. And again, from this point, just follow my direction, 
pick up that army truck uh, key if you didn't pick it up before and just head back the way we came so we're just basically essentially just going to retrace our steps and then head back outside and take the army truck and then complete level three so again just make sure you're following my direction we don't want you to get blown up we did it a few times in the live stream when we blew up, even though I knew where most of these arm um, devices, well, these these uh, mines were. I still managed to blow myself up, unfortunately. But you'll you'll be completely fine if you follow the route. So that will take care of your Sonic Assassin rating for level three. So now we can move on to level four. Now, using my strategy, um, level four and level five will be exactly the same. So I'm going to show you two different versions of how to do this. Uh, to do level 4 and level 5 so uh, this the first strategy I'm going to use uh, is going to use these particular items so you're going to bring along your modern hermetic syringe your remote breaching charge start undercover at Zaydan school and we're going to start store the mixtape 47 at the school gate we're going to bring also bring along our pistol as well so we're already starting as an elite soldier so this will make it a lot easier to complete this particular challenge so we're doing this two different ways and I'm going to show you the first way now Whichever whichever route you you take is entirely up to you, but it's your prerogative. But because level four and five are exactly the same, I decided to show you two different ways of doing it. So make sure you follow the route I'm taking right now. We're not going to go after the uh, the mine disarm device, so we're just going to follow this route where I'm taking. Come out the window here and go into the room to the left. Once you climb through the window, what we're going to do is head down into this corridor down here. You're going to pull out your remote breaching charge. Go over to the other side of this wall here and then just drop both breach charges. From this point, we're just going to wait here behind this wall. And the, uh, the what's going to happen is two of the three guards is going to take out those, take those two breaching charges out of the area and remove them from the equation so we can go and get the sword from the little room that they're guarding. So it can be a little bit random which two guards take it, take the breach to charge away, but the general guy, the uh, the main officer guy, will usually always well he will always take the one of the breach charges away. So if it's the other guy that took out took the breach and charge, we just need to wait for this guy to move uh, turn around before we head into the room and pick up the sword. The sabre is going to be stuck into inside a chair, so we just need to grab that that's in the corner of the room. So once you've grabbed that, we're just going to head down the corridor down here. Cut into the classroom as where the target is. Watch out for his positioning. You don't want to get spotted at this point. Circle around the classroom. Pick up the army truck key. Drop the sword behind this table right here. And then pull out your modern emetic syringe. Now wait for, make sure you uh, only stab him in a situation where all of the guards in the room have their back to the target himself. So we're being a little bit patient here. Crouch before you stab him with the emetic syringe. Wait there for a couple of seconds, otherwise you will get spotted. So just wait there for a couple of seconds. And then go over and grab your saber. Once you grab your saber, we're just going to head through to this window here. Because the target is going to head into the bathroom where we were about to go. And he's going to be sick in the bin that's in the bathroom. And that's when we're going to take out the first target with the saber. So once he's finally over there, we can climb through the, uh, the window and then uh, get behind him and melee kill him with the saber. Grab his disguise because it makes it a little bit easier to go around the school. And then climb back down the hole. Now once you've done that, we're going to head over to the other target. So you want to head through this door here, through the courtyard and across. And head through the same doors and windows that we did before in the previous levels. This time I'm going to go in the corner of the uh, the area and this is where the uh, you're going to have your mixtape or your uh, audio distraction device stored. Just drop your sword here in this location and then grab your mixtape and then drop it in the same location we did in the previous levels. Again activate it and then immediately pick it back up. Pick up your sword 
and wait for the guard to come over and then we can take him out. So once you've done that we can head straight to the exit where the uh, the army truck is and then we can move on to the second strategy. So this strategy is a little bit, uh, you know, if you wanted to go for a little bit more of a faster route, stay tuned to this video and I'll show you how to do a faster version of this. Uh, it will cut off about 25 seconds but it's entirely up to you which way, way you want to do it. I just thought, because both strategies are going to be the same, I thought I thought I'd show you two different versions of the same strategy because level 4 and level 5 are going to be essentially the same thing. The only difference between level 4 and 5 is level 5 you cannot pacify anybody. So uh, that's the only difference. But because of this strategy we don't pacify anyone anyway, it doesn't matter. That's the reason why I've done two different versions of the same thing. So the second version we're going to do it a little bit more faster. So start in the same location. We're, going to only, we're only going to make one difference. We're only going to make one change. So once you climb through that little hole, we're going to come downstairs through this room. And then climb up through the hole in the bathroom. Once you've done that, you're going to climb out the window and head into the classroom where the first target is. And this is where we're going to make the change. This is the only change we're going to make in this different strategy. And that's where we're going to take out the, the target now. We're not going to take him out, actually. We're just going to stab him with the Metic Syringe. Because it always presents us in an opportunity. As soon as we come through here, we're all everyone, everyone's guards, all the guards around the area are all looking in different locations, in different uh, directions, so we're always going to be able to stab him there completely risk-free. So we're just going to wait for him to leave the, the classroom first, to go into the bathroom to be sick, and while that's happening, and while he's being sick over there, we can take out these two guards over here, uh, removing them in the same situation, just like we did in the previous level, and just dropping the breach charges, and then hiding. Now you can hide behind the, the wall like we did in the previous uh, clip that I showed you, or you can hide in this area here. I recommend doing it the way we did in the previous uh, video I've shown you. Because sometimes if you hide here in this location here. Uh, one of the guards that take the breach charge down the stairs. Does sometimes look left. And they can spot you in this location. So it's entirely up to you. But you can try if you want to. But uh, I recommend uh, waiting in the spot we did in the previous clip. But... Uh, once they've gone past you anyway, we're just going to wait for that guard there to turn around so we can head back into the classroom to grab the sword. And once you've grabbed the sword, we can head straight into where the, uh, the bathroom is, where the, uh, the guard is being sick. And uh, we can take him out right now. So in my opinion, I think this is a better solution uh, than the previous clip. However... I can understand from a certain point of view where it's not necessarily going to be good for people that want to be slow and methodical. So if if you as you can see here, the guard finished with his being sick animation, and he was about to turn around and go back to the classroom. And this is the reason why I uploaded two different clips here because um, if I just uploaded this particular clip. I know that people are going to be complaining about the fact that uh, they can't take it slowly. They're forced to do, they're forced to be quick, and not everyone can be as as quick as I'm showing in the video. But which is completely understandable. Which is the reason why I've shown you two different solutions to the same problem. Uh, but uh, from this point here on out, which is exactly the same as we did in the previous clip, it's going to grab our mixtape 47 or audio distraction device, whichever one you brought along with you. And we're going to take out the target exactly the same way as we're doing it in all the previous levels. And then we can exit the mission with the army truck and then uh, complete this entire escalation and then we're done. The escalation itself wasn't too bad in my opinion, I just think uh, the, the introduction of the mines and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of trip mines at all, I'm not a fan of uh, the no, non-pacification uh, complication, even though it didn't really affect us in this video at all. It's still annoying to have those complications put in there. It's just a cheap way to make it more seem more difficult than it actually is, and uh, in my opinion, I just don't like that. I think it's quite lazy of the uh, developers to do that in regards to doing these escalations. There's so much more creative things they could do and instead of just putting trip mines or mines everywhere and using a mine disarm device. It's just a cheap way of making it more difficult, in my opinion. But um, yeah, but that's going to do it for this entire video. That's all the Silent Assassin uh, ratings for all the levels. So hopefully this has helped you out, and hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, 
drop a like if it did help you out and subscribe here if you are new to the channel for more videos just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers